Basically, what we learn is pattern cutting, lasting process, sales, and marketing. Hi everyone, my name is Odirole Mujibola, and here is one of my weekend students. Now, she joined us without knowing how to perfectly cut a pattern, nor even last perfectly well. Hear her testimony now. All she does is take orders now online, even through the marketing and the sales, of course, um, instructions I give them. Now, you don't just um, acquire skill when it comes to GBFM40. You must also understand how to market and how to close sale. If you really want to improve yourself, you want to expand your business and increase your turnover in the month of May, then our weekend shoe making class is a must. Join us today. It's just with a commitment fee of 1,500 Naira. We meet every Fridays and Saturdays and we... Hi, I know you have had a detail about the weekend class. Don't struggle alone in your shoemaking journey. Join us and I'm sure you will testify. So to today's tutorial, I taught us in my last video, if I'm correct, how to create this particular pattern. And today I am going to be showing us how you can actually um, create, use this as a flip-flop and particularly create an accessory on it. Sit back and I'll be right back. All right, another thing I'm going to be doing to this, I don't just want it to look um, just like this. I'm going to actually attach like a bow here and I'm going to be using this to create a unique accessory. It's not actually a bow, it's just like an accessory. This is about 18 centimeter long and then 3 centimeter wide. So I'm going to fold it this way. I'm going to fold it this way. Just fold it, make sure they are together this way and then i'm going to begin to cut i think i prefer to start from this side it's easier for me that way so i'm going to begin to cut you can see i folded it equally i'm going to start cutting but i will make sure i don't cut through i do not cut through you can see i did not cut through so i left about 0 0.5 centimeter so make sure you don't cut through and my cutting is about um, 0 0.1 centimeter, which is about one millimeter. I mean the distance between each of the cuts. So take your time to do all of this. All right, this is what it looks like after I had actually cut it. So I'm going to, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to try and then um, begin to fold this way. Let me use this hand. So. Now, as you're folding here, you can decide to actually, you know, apply glue. But I won't be applying because I still have an intention of a... Um, widening it and trying to work on it and if i've done that there it may not respond the way i want so So, you can see the way I'm trying to, so I want to be able to do this and then arrange it so well here. So, we, from here, I'm just going to try to um, apply my glue towards the hand for now, so that it doesn't scatter that part. You can see what I have. Then couple with the fact that this side is open, you can actually use your contact cement adhesive to close that up for yourself. But I just want to be sure that um, it's perfectly okay before I join them together. So, of course, I can use my glue also to hold this down. as you can see it went right in so i want to make sure that 
is out. And if I glue it, I won't be able to push it out this way. I won't be able to push it out. So you can see what it looks like. This is really beautiful, you know. So I'm going to just cut out small parts of the leather just to cover this. So that it will be easy for me to place right here. So, I'm going to be placing it right here. But let me cut just a little leather. Now I have this. So, I'm going to be place, positioning it this way. You can position this way. You can also position it this way. So, it depends on the way you want it. So, I'm just going to apply. Let me use this part to hold it right down. So, I'm going to place it gently. So you can see, so that will help me to hold all of those sides down. Then I'm going to come here and place it right here. Of course, I'm still going to use my glue. If you don't want to use a shoe glue, you can use a glue gun. So like I said, if you have a glue gun, this is actually a glue gun. You just plug it. I'm, I've already connected it. So you can see the way it's coming out. I'm just going to take my time. This one too can actually... But of course, when it's hot, it will work effectively well. See the way I'm putting this. So I'm just going to place it right here. I'm going to place it right here. So you can decide not to use um, a shoe glue if you dis if you like and then um, use this. But I'm going to suggest that if you are going to use this particular glue gun, make sure that you use the, ro um, the rough part of your leather. I mean, this part of your leather, you understand? Just the same way I did this, that's the same way you should do it because so that it can adhere properly to, you know, this side of the leather as well. So with this, we are already good to go. We can proceed to lasting. 